and everything. Not many, not many people play Miis in this game, especially. And Amber plays all three of them. Yeah. So yeah. The, the, they're they're actually they're actual matchups that you have to worry about now. <laughs> yeah. People do play these characters. Amber plays all three of them, but some people actually do play these characters. Mm -hmm. Me so far, especially right here, is the one that you need to watch out for most. Me so far has the sauce. Yeah. Every single so like I think Amy, Amy in particular is using. I was using a reflector for, for down B so far as I saw. It's also using the chakram, which you can. I don't think you can actually tilt that, weirdly enough. If, if, you, if you tilt it, it just stays down from you just a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's also using the uh, tornado, which is infamous because it has a lot of hit stun on it. The match is also using the, uh, the, the link up B, mm -hmm. which kills super early with. <laughs> it, just, it kills super early. I mean, it's not actually. Yeah, Aim huh. not using the Tornado all too much. He's kind of been using sparingly instead of opting for the Chakram. I can kind of understand just because mm -hmm. the Chakram is a little bit faster. So he can keep the control a little bit better. And I think he's respecting that Orbit R gate as well. So he'll just have to figure out how he can get the kill. But he's almost there. Already putting him off stage. 150%. Mm -hmm. Looking oh, real good for Aim so far. Just got that shot there. That down there not having a spike, but it does actually like disrupt you a bit, mm -hmm. especially at higher percents like this. Yeah, if you get, if you get everything but the last hit, then you can also be like a semi spike too, mm -hmm. like because it just sends them downward, but not necessarily spiking them. That'll uh, do it. Yeah, I'll smash out of shield, you know, just some unsafe, and that'll do it. Not gonna lie, actually a bit surprised. Amir is not opting for the, uh, the like the link up B basically, because that thing is really deadly. That mm -hmm. thing can kill you at like 70. If you get that tornado on the ledge, it's mm -hmm. crazy. Yeah, if you ever played a Mii Sword Fighter online, that's like all they do. But uh, yeah, I think Ames is trying to say, you know what? Mii Sword, Mii Sword Fighter has other tools as well, so I'm going to show them all for the wonderful people in the audience to go ahead and see right now. Oh, that's Snipe. Yeah, that's Triple Snipe off the stage with that Dark Pit arrow. Mm -hmm. That arrow in particular just has so much knockback to it. Yeah. It was impressive, too, uh, just because uh, it's really hard to steer that, so he knew that he could still keep him off stage and keep the train going. So That was absolutely perfect. Yeah. And Neymar, actually, in this case, because he had the... Uh, oh, that's it, actually. Yeah, no, up B, yeah, yep. you can't make it back. Mm -hmm. That up B, it goes really high, but not very, very far. So before, when he got like, hit by the, by, the, by the arrow, he's trying to just drift back as much as he can. That's why he got hit by the arrows a few mm -hmm. times in a row like that. He's got, he's got to be careful of, the, of actually the reflect in this case. Gaia is really good at using that. Mm -hmm. Using it a lot against Hero Dewall because it gets his Belmont. And he's using it a lot here to take out to against. Every time he uses a tornado in particular, he's using it. Right. Yeah, down throw up air, though. That'll, that'll do it. Looking like a Smash 4 game right now. But uh, he's going to be able to close that out. Yeah, still trying to make himself back into the stage. There we go. Yeah, use the tornado. Just keeps him off. Even just tornado, raw tornado alone is 16%. Mm -hmm. You can get more off of it, too. Yeah. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Aim just taking his time. He's using the Chakram to try and disrupt his flow of gameplay. And yeah, using the reflector. Reflect, reflect. Yeah, there we go. Makes it back to the stage. Oh, but big directional air dodge. He's still going to make it back, got though. It. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's got to be a little bit more careful. Just got to make sure he doesn't uh, overcommit because 100% is the one bad. Side B from Pit, that could definitely be it. Or that, actually, that's yeah. Yeah, that's confirmed right there. Mm -hmm. You might have seen that before of Joker. Joker, Joker if Arson will down air into up smash as well. Yeah. Same thing with Dark Pit. Same if thing. It, if it's Spike Hit boss there. Yeah, he doesn't even need Arson. <laughs> nope. He can just do it raw. He already is Arson. He's got the wings and everything. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> Dark Pit would be a persona that you summon. <laughs> okay. Little Pitu. Mm -hmm. That's what we call him in this case. Yeah. All right, so just curious, up right? Great game. <laughs> mm -hmm. Gayo's gonna take that first game there. As an aim, he's got a little bit of time to think. He's got a best of five set. I think aim is one of those people too that, if you play him for a long amount of time, he starts to figure out you as the set goes on longer, yes. rather than like trying to gimmick you out in the first two games or whatever. Because, which is interesting to say, because since he, you know, he is a mm -hmm. he is a me player, but he he definitely downloads and understands your habits as uh, as things. Go on. Yeah, he's a very smart player in that regard. Mm -hmm. Like every time I play him, he always he's always just like, it's like he, he's really good, at just like taking advantage of everything that you can, that you can do. If you don't mix it up against him, he's he, he'll just download you most of the time. Yeah, even even if he like makes him sometimes when I'm playing him and I make a mistake and I, like I'm able to capitalize off of it, he's like, I knew you were gonna do that, but I <laughs> messed up. <laughs> like <laughs> how to play. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I'm just like, wait, you knew I was going to do that? He's like, yes, I'm just bad. <laughs> <laughs> but he's definitely not being bad right now. We've all uh, been there. He switches yeah. to the gunner now, though. I, mm -hmm. I thought he'd switch to the brawler, if anything, but I respect it. Yeah, sure, why not? Emery was known for his meat gunner in Smash 4. Yeah. He, could, he, he could have potentially PR with meat gunner, which was, at that point, at that, during, during Smash 4, probably the best meat character, I'd say. Mm -hmm. I think uh, the only one that actually contests him is probably. Oh, Ooh. okay, okay. Alrighty, and the taunt to finish it off too. Okay, I like it. I like <laughs> it. <laughs> Even strides next to us is like what? <laughs> like that's a thing. Okay, so he opted for the the little bombs. I don't know what they're called, but Neither yeah, like, do I. like the little grenades basically. I haven't seen any me gunners honestly. I know <laughs> what they can do. I just never seen it. Mm -hmm. I even try to look in the me. Uh, Gunner Discord, and for the most part, the kind of the info is mostly the same. It's uh, kind of just the same game plan that he did in Smash Four, just a little mm -hmm. bit not as good. Yeah, like like uh, Migar's four there especially got nerfed, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like you can't go as far with it, and it doesn't less knock back, and doesn't say, and it doesn't go as far in general. Mm -hmm. It's not as good, but like Migar's still gonna be, be able to wall you out most of the time. It's kind of like in the way discount Samus, but not really. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like what he's doing. He's tossing out those little bombs, and they actually disrupt the neutral B, so he can't play the neutral that he wants to. So then he immediately tried to approach, and then Aim actually took advantage of that and was able to get a little bit more if damage I take a off guess, of it. Aimer, I know Aimer likes to do this. I think his, his down B is actually the, the straight-up like, Fox Shine. Because mm -hmm. like, he likes to be reverse that, and then like forward her back to state, back to yeah. stage, opposite direction. The thing is what he did there, but I couldn't see it correctly. Ooh, maybe? No, nah, I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, uh, he's fine. Migar's well, up, he actually got buffed a lot, so you can actually uh, go different directions of it now. It's also very good at shield. Mm -hmm. Like, you, you go down right there and got like a lot of knockback on Gaio, and maybe even taking the stock, actually? Mm -hmm. It's that good. Yeah. But, yeah. It's still doing fine. Uh, 94%. Yeah, I know he's uh, just doing what he's doing best, playing extremely safe, and just making sure that Gaio is the one that has to try and get something going. I think, other honestly, I think other than the forward air nerf, oh, nice one. Good mm -hmm. sniper there. Other than Ford Nerf, I think Migar is actually better than when the was in Smash 4. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. me though. Yeah, and he still has the movement with the with the forward air as well. It's just that you can't do like the cross ups that you used to be able to do um, in Smash 4 because of the mechanic changes and stuff. So just uh, the way he plays the flow is a little bit different now. Yeah, like Migar. So here's the difference. So Migar couldn't really kill that well in Smash 4. Best best thing he can do is is probably he's not because Charger didn't have a knockback. You saw Charger got killed before mm -hmm. on the last dog against Gao, but. This case, and, and in cases like in Smash Four, like it couldn't, it couldn't kill. Yeah. Best thing Migar could do in that game, I think, was actually just straight up back air a lot of the time, mm -hmm. or like just forward air, and eventually it, like get him off stage with it. And yeah. Get. Oh, and down smash. That was the thing too. Oh yeah, down smash too was actually really good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, in this game, uh, the, you, you saw already the up air killed like extremely early. The charge shot killed. Uh, Migar still has a down smash and a forward air to Ooh. be able to play neutral. Very nice mind right there. Actually, disrupt the, the left of shock arm. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Whoa. I th oh, okay. I think it hit him. Yeah. I think it hit him, actually. Yeah, okay. I, I, it looked like he went underneath him, like when he was trying to edge guard and he didn't have enough time to make like it back. It wasn't a spike, but I think it just put hip off out there. He wasn't expecting, so he thought he yeah. would be <laughs> then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think he thought that he was already going to make it back to the stage. And it's like, oh, psych, it's my opponent <laughs> that's going back to the stage. Hey, yo. And I'm already <laughs> dead. <laughs> oh, my God. All righty, we're going to game three here. Aim does not look satisfied. <laughs> I don't think he's going to be satisfied until... There. Oh, switching back to the sword fire. Like, Ale's potentially Gale. going... Cloud. Okay, not Sonic, going Cloud, alrighty. So, so, I think, uh, apparently, according to Index, at least, he played Inkling on stream earlier as well. Mm -hmm. So, this is his fourth character he's played. Because he also had that Sonic that you saw him select before. Okay. And he played that earlier, too. Alrighty, interesting. Well, I know he could wreck my cloud any day, so we'll see how this goes. So it seems like Gayo just plays this game a lot and has a lot of really practice and good characters that he wants to pull on turn, but yeah. this cloud especially just is one of them. Yeah, we'll see how it goes, though. So, yep, up out of shield. Probably cloud's the best out of shield option now, now that uh, neutral air and stuff is not that good anymore. And cross slash still, there. yeah, that was really good, actually. Yeah, Gayo's kind of in work currently. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amor can't get anything started right now, but I'm sure that'll change soon. Yeah. We'll see. Just has to avoid him for, you know, 13 seconds. We'll see how this goes. But, yeah, keeping in shield. That lets him get an opening. Ooh. Very nice stuff so far. Yeah, getting neutral air into the upper. That tornado into, into up air is extremely good, mm -hmm. to say the least. <coughs> I think actually the biggest thing in this matchup might be, might be that. 
is actually like tornado like tornado on stage into like a forward air, which could which could like take a clap pretty early if if he edge guards it correctly. Oh, I still got him. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Still able to make it back though. Didn't quite kill yet. Both these two, I think, are just gonna look for a straight hit to get the kill at this point. Never mind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Almost did it there. Almost had it. That tornado actually drifts downwards off the ledge as well, so it's really, it's actually really good at, at just like catching a character like Cloud in this case, because he's, he's always gonna go below the ledge. Mm -hmm. If he doesn't space his up B correctly, it's over. Mm -hmm. Almost got Oof. the up tilt. Looks like a, looks like a yelling up tilt in this case. <laughs> yeah. What is he gonna go for? Almost. Oh, not quite. Looks like it's fixed hit sun too, so. It not is. Not gonna change with, the, yeah, not gonna change. Oh, oh no. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Showing his hand right there on the up B. Mm-hmm. Man, a me sword fighter living to 180. You don't see that too often. Up throw? Nope. Okay, now going for the, the down throw, throw at that time. Kill I feel like it would. It was a kill move. It was a, like a very, very high percent kill throw for Cloud uh, back in the day. So I feel like that would have just been kept in. But that might uh, there. Barely not. Quite, not. Yeah. 211 now for me sword fighter. Man, who would have thought that one day Cloud would not be able to kill? Am I right? <laughs> Remember his matchup was like 75, 25 in Smash 4? Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Like mm -hmm. 80, 20 maybe. Man, both these two, <laughs> they're really being spicy with each other. Going for d double taunt right there? Like, I don't know why Gayo just went for the <laughs> A limit move at like when Amir is still invincible, but you know. Yeah. Sometimes just like that. Mm hmm. Yeah, this is back to the neutral. Trying to figure out how to get back into the center stage. Making it very difficult, actually. Doing a good job navigating around, and yeah, that cross slash. He's just so good at being able to catch that jump area, too. I love these mix-ups from Gayo. Like, whenever when he's landing. He's always, like, he's going for that cross slash. He's going for stuff like that it's just very, very often. Yeah. It's probably a frustrating deal with, honestly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just gotta you just gotta have to deal with it sometimes. Yeah, good ledge trap. I mean... Like, up yeah, shield's amazing, but I didn't expect to get away from, like, so much in this case. Mm hmm crazy. That forward air is basically like Clouds and Air from last game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like Clouds and Air is like what Cloud did all the time. Oh, that's it. Yeah, two cross slash kills so far. Rock loss cross slash. Rock loss cross slash. That's crazy. Yeah. And he's already got Limit back online. Maybe he could get like a quick fare into like Limit cross slash. Yeah, he looked like he was about I tried to, to parry it. it and mm -hmm. just unfortunately she, yeah, she got pushed away a bit by a cross slash. She couldn't parry it in the end. Mm -hmm. Bit of a shame, but is what it is. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just throwing out those projectiles. Yeah, I like that. The little conditioning is trying to make him jump over it. Oh, oh just barely in his face. Yeah, that was the right idea. That's like so far as much range in general, so I didn't think I was gonna actually like hit in the end, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Cloud, so, Cloud, even though Cloud's range got a bit of a nerf, even though Cloud and Gerald got a bit of a nerf, like he still has a big sword. Yeah. Can't really have space for that too too well. Mm-hmm. Well, carriers can at least. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Gale's doing a good job of denying what AIM wants. Mostly that tornado or just any type of setup into a kill. But finally, the big first big opportunity. Here we go. Here, there yes, we go. Into that's the back here. Yeah, very well timed that tornado. Take mm -hmm. that second stock. Yeah, I mean, he, uh, in general, in the neutral, he's been doing a good job of denying him that. So in a ba oh no, oh, no, not no like way, this. not like no this. Way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done, dude. I'm done. Wow. Well, that just happened. I just saw that, and I'm like, wait a minute. He just got hit by upbeat. There's no way. There's no way. And then AIM just mm -hmm. went down to ensure his death. He just that got, was nasty. He got a call with Progressive, with <laughs> Allstate, whoever he needed, and just said, yo, man, I need this cloud dead right now. Can you cover that? And it's like, yes, we got you. Are you in good hands? Easy. Obviously, AIM is. <laughs> Sticking to the sword fire as well, going into his game four. Game switching to Sonic. Third character to set, if I point that out. <laughs> Wow. He's, got, he's got some interesting characters in his arsenal too. Like yeah, this Dark Pit, <laughs> Sonic, Cloud, Inkling as well. Like that's it's crazy. Yeah, uh, I feel, I see no pattern. <laughs> do you? I do not. Either. <laughs> I think it's, I think it's part of what he's going for too. Actually. Yeah, maybe. There's no good pattern like to any of those, any of those characters really, but like it's, it's I think it's part of the mix-up because you got to play differently for each one of them. Yeah. I don't know. All right, let's see how this goes though. I mean, in general now, I think. It might be a little bit difficult for Gayo to play the matchup just because now all of a sudden AIM can zone out with the projectiles and make his life a little bit more difficult. Mm -hmm. Like, for instance, that tornado stays, just stays out for so long. A chakram comes out so quickly and goes so far into a short amount of time like that. Yeah. 
it's gonna be hard for for Gao to actually get much going on the grounds with a spin dash, which is what Sog usually just wants to go for. Yeah. Even in this game, where homing attack is like the sauce for Sonic, mm -hmm. like that is what's like, spin dash is still very very good and like a great way to rack up damage with. Did Sonic, you see but, that? Yeah. Jab one, force him into shield, and then just went for another throw confirmed there. I think it's still confirmed this game. I know I know in Smash 4, Swordfire actually had like exactly that. That might be it. Yeah. Oh yeah, not quite enough to be. Swordfire actually had back. down throw and up air for a long time. And like I was a kill throw in that game. I think it actually still might be a kill throw in this game. Mm -hmm. Just barely. Like it might be really tight, but yeah, just barely. So that time around Gale actually gonna take the first dog. All of a sudden now AIM has to kind of Force himself to play a different game. That parry was Super so close. smart. Yeah, but I think just too many frames on that up smash. Not quite. Fair one setup? Not quite either. I know exactly how home attack works in, in this case. Because, like, sometimes home attack has... Nice. Good, good poke from the ledge. Sometimes, sometimes home attack has a lot of end lag to it. Sometimes it doesn't. I don't know why. But mm -hmm. I think anybody thought it would have a lot of end lag just because... Like, it probably seems like as me in that case. But, right. yeah. Couldn't, just couldn't get it. Okay, yeah. Uh, looking like the Smash 4 <laughs> Sonic, you know, where you just like to throw out F Smash a lot at the ledge when you're trying to get that kill. Still one of Sonic's best kill, uh, just, just best kill moves in general. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very quick. Uh, l pretty little end lag, so pretty decent move altogether. But right now, <laughs> he's got to figure out how to... Back still. Mm -hmm. He's got to figure out how to get the stock off. And Aim's got to figure out how to get things started. It's been actually a fair, still not enough to do it. Wow. Yeah, Sonic doesn't have a kill throw anymore. His back throw kills way later, which is like the one one thing that uh, Sonic Sonic doesn't go for in, in Smash Four. Mm -hmm. Like, but it kills a lot later in this game. I'm not. I might kill now in the ledge, but I'm not. I'm not too sure. Current, honestly, that Ooh, would kill though. Yeah, that tornado has a ton of knockback, mm -hmm. a ton of knockback, and if just yeah. enough time to get that up there. And mm -hmm. Yeah, I think he was expecting it to hit, so then he was able to react accordingly, and then he able to get that kill. So that was very nice stuff. And just the perseverance from AIM to make sure he doesn't die and so he could get back the lead that he should have deserved, I feel, just from the, how he was playing on that first stock. And now he's finally got it back. I went to reach so far right there. I didn't expect him to actually get that. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, interesting. He just kind of hit the ground when he got hit by Spin Dash. Interesting. Yeah, and every little bit of percent that AIM gets on this next stock is a big victory for him. And just like that, looking like he Racked could potentially close out the game very soon. And he looks like he's looking for it, too. Just trying to hit that forward smash there. And wow, that forward tilt finally would be able to be a kill move. Sonic's forward tilt got, got buff. <laughs> it, actually, it kills now, and it just connects every time. Mm -hmm. Smash forward, like, it have, it was, it's, it's a two-way for whatever reason. And, like, it just wouldn't connect sometimes. But, yeah, it happened right there. It wasn't good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dash attack. Another opportunity here. I think he was using that shotgun to force a high recovery. He used um, stash, da dash back to try and get uh, a punish in, but the uh, home make attack went too far for that. Yeah, now I have to respect him. And wow, these home make attacks actually landing their mark quite consistently. I think Song has the same sound effect for home attack as it does with uh, forward smash. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just noticed this. So you're like, ah! Wow. Oh, man. And Gao really trying to go off stage against his me sword fighter. I'm just a little bit scared because that's how he lost his stock mm -hmm. the first time around. Oh, down throw. Right into his arms. Almost just out of percent. Seems. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm worried about. Oh. Yeah. Okay, there we go. He did the directional air dodge that time. <laughs> Very scary. Yeah, playing with fire right now. Or I should, should I say playing with wind, basically. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Make it, able to make it back. Ooh. That very foot stole. That yeah. would it. Barely outside of the range of that force match. He just got around it. Interesting. And all of a sudden, Gale has been able to bring this no. back. And he gets the force smash to close it out. You see that sigh of relief from Gale. Yeah. And we're going to game five scenario here. That was one heck of a comeback right there. He was down by a lot of percent before he took that second stock. Yeah, what was that? that like 50%? Like, I think it was about 74%, actually. Yeah, it, was, it was like... It was like 50% from homing attacks, and then like eight, eight, another like 20 or 30% from like forward smash. So that that was it, and he got the got the game for it on that last stock. It's insane. <laughs> okay, sure. Back to the dark pit. Okay. Well. <laughs>
<laughs> All right. Oh my god. Yeah, it's like, yes, I just won a game with Sonic. Let me go back to the first character that I <laughs> that I lost the game with. Oh wait, did, or unless he won with Dark. Yeah, he won with Dark. Yeah, he won with Dark Pit. Yeah, 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 they yeah, also yeah. lost a Dark Pit yeah, against yeah, the yeah. Gunner, which Amir is actually switching back to. Okay, I. Well, there we go. I don't know. I I, I know it's a st I know it's for stages, but at the same time, it's like just damn. Like honestly, what a set. Switching far. characters everywhere. Is what like, a set oh so gosh. far. Then five different characters from both these players just yeah. total. You, you you don't see a sort of thing in general in tournaments. You usually yeah. see one character from one person. And that maybe maybe a second one sometimes, but yeah, yeah, this is crazy. I mean, in this kind of game, is kind of it's, it's kind of like either one or the other sometimes because most of the time people are like, oh, I'm gonna have like a character for each and every single matchup for my main, and then the other person's like, I'm just gonna stick with my main, do whatever I can with them as far as I can go because it's early meta, like anything can happen. Just stick with who I'm feeling today, really. In this case, game was feeling like everyone, really. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Like. In, Got to point out as well too. Like none of these characters, like any of these, any of these players are picking are actually like considered top tier characters either. Like mm -hmm. he's just really comfortable with these. I guess like I'm not gonna say mediocre, but just like not as like just these characters really. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Ben fortunate. He poked him right below the uh, <laughs> right below the shield there. Yeah, that was unfortunate. Yeah, mm -hmm. he had the right idea too. <laughs> yeah, so aim takes actually early stock with a very nice snipe there. Yeah, he's releasing his shields a little bit too early. I, I, if he keeps them up for a little bit longer, I know it's committal, but he's, he has the right idea. He's just being a little bit uh, less confident here. I feel like that's just, you know, game five scenario. Potential top three uh, situation here. And oh! Another snipe, but not almost quite got enough that. yet. Yeah. Almost got the second one too as well, just right afterwards. Mm -hmm. Neymar is running away with his, with his game five currently. Oh, my. Yeah. oh that'll do it though. Do it. Okay, yeah. Uh, Gayo still got some fight left in him. Ooh. I like it. I like it. Mm -hmm. Alright, yeah. Okay, just goes for down smash. Yeah, he whiffed the dash attack. That was the right idea to catch a tech in place, but just did it a little bit too early and misspaced it too. Ooh. Okay. Still, still fine so far. And he's slowly. I mean, okay, 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 yeah, yeah. And he's free bomb could taking the stock. I think I was thinking also down to my able to do because down to like basically Samus down tilt. Mm -hmm. So yeah, <laughs> just good. It's just good that I guess like Gary guys should kill in this game. Otherwise, it'd be a bit of a problem. Mm -hmm. But yeah, just keeping him at the ledge with these projectiles and force out the high recovery with that bomb. Yes. Oh, ah, and try, to, try to catch the end of it. Mm -hmm. That time, Gale was confident, and then he just kept it up longer for, or for a little bit longer, excuse me. Aim trying to make it back. Yes, he will. Gale kind of getting a little bit too hasty on the trigger to be able to get that edge guard right there. Oh, very important parry right there. That would have killed across the stage. Yeah, I don't even know if he meant to do that, but you know what? We'll, for, the sake of, for the sake of argument, we will say that he meant to do that. Oh, and that'll do it. Trying to get, trying to get out of the fire there, but unfortunately, 